Welcome back to The Band Guide. I'm your band guy, Colin, and today's another video in the 5-Minute Logic Expert series where I'm bringing you 30 tips and tricks for recording, mixing, and mastering in Logic in 30 days. And today, we're looking at importing session data from another session. This is so cool, and it can be a huge time saver. This isn't something you have access to in GarageBand, so if you're coming from that, this is a new powerhouse tool that you get inside Logic. It can really help speed up your workflow, especially if you're working on a lot of songs that are very similar in their writing, recording, and arrangement. Uh, so for example, what we're going to look at today, I have drums that were recorded in the same studio, more or less the same drum kit, same tone, same sounds, and I'm going to import the processing I've done in another mix onto this mix to jumpstart this mix to give it kind of the initial sound that I want it to, and then I would likely tweak it from there. So basically, importing session data, you can either import actual tracks that have audio, or the way that I use it more often is that I'm importing settings from another track. So if I want to pull all the EQ that I had on all my drums, I could do that. If I want to pull, you know, the master track processing that I have across my entire mix, I can do that from another mix that's similar that I know that I'm proud of, that I like the sound of. So if I'm working on an EP or an album, I will mix one song all the way to completion, and then I will use this track import feature to import some of the main key mixing elements to jumpstart my mixes once I've got my initial level set on the new mixes that I'm working on. So then I'm not starting all the way from zero for every single mix I'm doing in the future. Let's go and jump into Logic and look at how to do this. So as I said, here we have drums that are recorded at the same studio as the other song that we have, and they're still kind of in the demo stage, so this isn't gonna be final mix drums that you're hearing even when I import the settings from the other session, uh, but I wanted to get these sounding just a little bit better, a little bit tighter than they do in their total raw format. I'm gonna do minimal processing so that I'm not adding a lot of CPU as we're still recording in other elements, but this is just gonna get us a little closer to the direction that I imagine these drums are gonna sound when we finish this record. So the drums currently sound like this, and if we look at our settings here, you see there's nothing on them whatsoever. It's just some volume set and some pan positions. Now, to import, you go up to this top right button here, kind of music icon with a couple of folders, and press that. You can also just hit F on the keyboard and it will bring it up. And then what I like to do is hit this little... Uh, file icon and that takes me to wherever this session is saved and typically if I'm pulling music from another session it's going to be saved somewhere close to the session that I'm currently working in but you can also just search if you want to just search so I'm here I'm just going to go back to the other songs that we're currently working on for this project and I want to pull the drums from what I learned nothing talk about a great <laughs> track name and we're just going to pull from drums only so these are different project alternatives. If you have any alternatives, you need to make sure you pull from the right project. We'll hit OK. So here we're seeing the tracks listed on the left side, and then we have the type that they are, so audio versus a track stack. If we had a virtual instrument, something like that, we would see that listed. And then content, which is small here for some reason, but content that's listed uh, would be the actual audio or MIDI files from those tracks, the regions, if you will. And if we wanted to import like all the vocals that we'd recorded in another song into this song, then I could would select the content there to import the actual content from that. I don't want to do that in this case. And then we have our plugins. This is the actual processing. That's what we're looking for on here. And then if you've done any sort of specific routing, you'd want to do your IO, uh, any sort of bus number, any sort of automation, anything specific like that that you want to bring in from the other session, you would do that. A lot of times I don't find that I'm selecting a lot of these unless I am sp sending it to specific buses, in which case I might do sends uh, and I want to bring in those buses as well, things like that. Okay, so the way that we do this, and let me know in the comments if you found a better way. Ideally, I should just be able to select all these tracks, and this is the way you would do it in Pro Tools. You'd select all the tracks and make sure that they're in the same order, so kick in, snare top, snare bottom, so make sure they're in the same order, and then select all the tracks here, and then hit plugins, and then it would import correlated to the tracks one-to-one. -one. For some reason, if I do that here in Logic, when, and I hit replace, it imports all those tracks, <laughs> and I don't know why it is that it does that. Uh, so. If you know how to make that not happen, let me know in the comments. You're probably smarter than me and figured that out. I've not figured that out. I'd like to think that there's no way and I'm not just a dummy, but if there is a way, I'd love to know that. So the way that I've figured out to do it is you just kind of go one through one. You select your kick here, and then I go in here and I select my kick. I select my plugins. I hit replace. Then I go down to my snare. I select the plugins. I hit replace. 
and it takes a second. It's not quite as fast as uh, the way that I just described. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and I'll show you the next part in just a second. Okay, so now I have my EQ and all my individual tracks. And now I wanna import the processing, the track stack information where I'm processing all the drums in one place. So what I'm gonna do is create a new track stack for all these drums by holding Command Shift and D. And it's gonna create like a little folder thing here. Close that down, call this drums. And now I'm gonna import the information for that. Now what I found is because it's a track stack, I have to import as a separate track by hitting add, and then I can just drag the plugins onto my drum process in here. So this isn't an instantaneous thing, but it's pretty quick. And we just took the drums from sounding like they did at the beginning to sounding like this. And I didn't have to redo all that processing it's gonna make a more consistent mix and it's gonna help jumpstart you. Now, I'm obviously showing this with real live recorded drums here, but you could totally do this with Logic Drummer if you're using that Easy Drummer, whatever it is that you're using for your drums. If you've got a sound that you like from them, import that into the new song that you're working on and you'll get the exact same settings. So big fan of this. And obviously you can also use this to import vocals like we talked about in yesterday's video. We retract the vocals for a song. Instead of starting in the session that they retract the vocals on, I'm now just gonna import the new single vocal file into the the mix and the setup that I've already been working on and it's gonna save me a whole bunch of time. So important session data, I love this. I use it all the time. Let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas of how you would use this. And before you go, if you don't already have it, be sure to grab my six step checklist to a pro mix. It goes through the six steps that all professional mixes have how to do them specifically inside Logic to get a more professional sounding mix. It's very simple and it's completely free from the link in the description below. It's really gonna help you out. So be sure to grab it. If this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. One thing at a time, I can only